Hey everyone, it's Lars here, and welcome back to Virtual Paddock. Now, I have loved cars and racing games ever since I was a little boy. With the first racing game that I ever played being the very first Need for Speed game, which was simply called The Need for Speed. In fact, I could still, off the top of my head, name all the cars in that game. It was the Dodge Viper RT10, Ferrari 512TR, Lamborghini Diablo VT, Mazda RX-7, Acura NSX, Toyota Supra Turbo, Porsche 911 Carrera, and the Chevrolet Corvette. And the great thing is that nowadays, I've got all those cars in Seto Corsa. So time to relive my childhood through sim racing. Let's go. All right, so time for three laps of nostalgia at Black Hat County. I don't care if this is going to be a very realistic race, I mean, I even turned damage off. I'm not going to put on a masterful drive. This race is all about making me feel like a kid again. So don't be surprised if I end up driving like a kid. I played this game when I was like, five or six. And now I'm 29. <laughs> By the, by the way, you see that I'm obviously driving the Porsche. But it's not simply because the Porsche is and has always been my dream car. But actually, more specifically because the need for speed is a huge part of the reason for that. Because for, for whatever reason, the Porsche was always my favorite car in that game. And... I don't know. My love for Porsches, from then on, just kind of stuck. She's still in last. <laughs> well, I don't care about the results. As I mentioned, this is all about having fun.
I love this so much. Bit of a love tap from the Mazda. Really nice and close racing here. Bonk again, and I'm passed. Just kept it up, got right. Wrong gear. Right, final lap. Well, my gear shifts. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I've learned this race to feel like a kid. So why not drive like a kid? <laughs> I mean, this is not how I drive in my more serious races. Hunted him out of the race. <laughs> you know what? If if you used to play the Need for Speed, I very much recommend doing this. I'm going to post the link to to all the necessary mods in the description. And uh, the, the Supra is actually um, is actually in the base game. I, I think it's in the Japanese pack DLC. I'm not actually sure. Second massive bong. Lots of panto lots of pantorino. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so that was three 
Awesome laps. Three awesome laps around Black Hat County. So as you could easily see, I had a lot of fun there. In fact, I would go as far as to say that that was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in sim racing. So if you are anything like me and you've been playing racing games all your life, give this a try and I'm sure that you're gonna have an absolute blast. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more content like this, be sure to click like and subscribe. So till next time, use the downfalls and see you soon.